So for this example, ladies and gentlemen, we have 4 minus i squared. Please remember that whenever you have a number, an expression, or any kind of quantity that is squared, that means that quantity multiplied by itself. So this is 4 minus i times 4 minus i. Okay. The big misconception that everybody seems to do is they want to distribute the, the squared. You cannot do that across addition and subtraction. We do that with, with when we have like a number, we can do that. Right? You can use straight, but you cannot use the straight of property across multiplication and division with a power. Cannot do it. So please, if that's what you did, write that down and put a big X and say, remember, and just every single time, you can just remember. 4 minus i squared is 4 minus i times 4 minus i. It's a huge, big misconception that everybody seems to make, even my pre-calculus students. So once you write it as a product, then you can just use the product uh, FOIL. Or you can use, um, use FOIL or use the box method, whatever really works for you. So I have 16 minus 4i minus 4i um, plus i squared. Now, please remember negative 4i minus 4i. We are going to subtract our coefficient. So if you negative 4, if you owe me $4, and then you owe me another 4 more dollars, then you owe me $8. So that's 16 minus 8i. And then i squared we represent as negative 1, right? Well, plusing a negative 1 is the same thing as like minusing 1. So 16 minus 1 is going to be 15 minus 8i. Please remember to always write your complex numbers in the form a plus bi. Okay, That's just our standard way to writing them. So always have your real plus your imaginary part. Okay, Well, in this case, it's minus. But you could always do plus a negative. Anybody have any questions with that? Yes? Because i squared is negative 1. So 16 plus negative 1 is 15. Got it?